Hello guys and welcome to Samantha's Kitchen. Today we are going to Vietnam and we are going to create an absolutely fabulous Vietnamese summer roll. Real, real simple ingredients, easy to make, just a tiny bit fiddly. But once you get your hang, once you get your hair, like the hang of it, you can make them every time. Absolutely amazing on a hot summer day and you want something cool and refreshing um, but just beautiful so let us get cracking and I'll show you what ingredients you need today so you're gonna need first and foremost some rice paper now this is the tricky stuff um, so I'll show you how to um, to work with this paper and there's different methods so I can give you uh, some ideas of what may work best for you for when you cook them at home. You'll also need the following. You'll need some carrot, and as you can see, I've finely uh, chopped the carrot to matchstick size pieces. Same with the cucumber, so you don't need a lot of ingredients. And uh, this ingredients goes a long way when making summer rolls. So I've got here, I've just got um, a piece of carrot, about an, an inch and a half in size, and I've just chopped it finely. I've got similarly an inch here of cucumber, and I've chopped that finely. I've got some just shredded iceberg lettuce, about a quarter of a cupful. I've got some tofu, ready to eat tofu. And I've got some coriander, just a few leaves, and I've got some mint, just a few leaves as well. Um, you can replace the tofu section with anything that you want. If you want chicken, beef, pork, prawns, you can put that in. Plant versions or not plant versions, it's entirely up to you. We've also got some noodles. Now these here are rice noodles and they generally come in a dry, uh, dry form and what I've just done is I've put some hot water into this bowl and I'm just letting them cook through and what we're going to do with these noodles is once they're cooked through naturally in the boiled water for a couple of minutes we're going to drain them and then we're going to rinse them uh, so that they're cold, we actually need cold noodles, we don't need them to be hot but we need them to be cooked through. Um, so typically with rice noodles, you can do this, boil your kettle, cover the whole of the dried rice noodle uh, to the top and then let it sit for about three to four minutes and that will, these will be then cooked through. You don't need to use a pan, nothing, literally your kettle, that's it, done. So let's get cracking and I'll show you a bit later on what dip I'm going to make with them but yeah let's make some of Vietnamese summer rolls okay so you can use a normal plate but I like to use this one because it's got a bit of a well and what we're going to do is we're going to put some hot water into this we're not going to make it really really full we're just going to put enough hot water just to cover that bottom like so. Please be careful, this is how I do it. You may not want to do it this way, but be careful. So you take one of your rice papers and what we're gonna do is we're gonna soak it in this water. We're gonna soak it in the hot water. And then once we've soaked it in the hot water, we're gonna place it on the tray and then we'll be able to work with the summer roll, okay? So I want you to dip in the sides like so and what, what happens is the rice paper slowly becoming not a rigid structure and becoming a structure that is pliable that we can actually work with. And as you can see now that structure is really really soft and what we do now to create the summer roll is this, it's a little bit tricky let me know how you do it in the comments so we'll get some of the rice noodle like so and what we're going to do is we're going to put it at the edge here okay then we're going to get some carrots you don't need a lot just a few just a few carrots like this and then we're going to go in with some cucumber i'm going to put the cucumber 
spray, like so. I'm going to get a little bit of this lettuce as well and place that in. Some of the tofu, like so. And then we're going to get a few of the mint, like this. And then just a couple of the coriander, like this. And now here comes the moment of truth. <laughs> You've got to roll it like so. Okay. It's not the easiest. It takes a while to get used to it. Roll one side like so. Then you roll the other side. And then push it in. And then there you have it. Your Vietnamese summer roll. Little tricky, but beautiful, absolutely amazing. So I'm going to show you another one of, of how to make it. Rice paper, water, pour it in, move it around like so, keep moving it. Make sure your fingers are well away from the hot water because you don't want to burn yourself. You may find that you can spray, some people spray the uh, summer rolls, but I like this method. I think this method, um, it's, just, it's just easier for me. Some people actually literally put on the hot water tap and do them that way, um, which is again, is fine. It's whatever works best for you in creating your summer rolls. So. I've moved this now, the summer roll, onto here and we're going to add it differently this time. So what you can do is you can actually make really quite beautiful summer rolls. Um, so I'm going to add a little bit of lettuce this time first, then some of the noodles, like so, getting the noodles everywhere. And because I have no nails, they're hard to pick up. <laughs> Come on, noodle. Come on, noodle. Okay. Um, and then we'll get some of the carrot, the lovely carrot. And we'll get some of the beautiful fresh cucumber here. Oh, it's amazing. It's so nice. And we'll get some lovely tofu. As I say, you can put anything anything you want into these. They are so versatile. Mint, like so. And we'll put some coriander in, like so. And if you love coriander, you can pack it full. If you love mint, you can pack it full. You can do whatever. Um, and now we fold it. So here we go again. So we pick it up like this the edges up like this and you are taking it all the way over like so then you're using this side to close that side off and you're using this side to close that side off and then you're tucking it in and you're just giving it another roll like that and there you have Vietnamese summer roll absolutely beautiful of these so i'm going to go now ahead and show you how to make the dip that i'm going to use so guys we've got a summer roll there and we're going to make our dip now and it's so easy if you don't like sriracha you don't have to use it you could put a little bit of um, a dipping sauce on of your choice you could just have hoisting on its own or you could have soya um soya sauce anything that you want you can have but this for me is a really, really lovely, easy sauce to make. And so, dead simple, dead quick. Just got some rich hoisin sauce here. And you're gonna put a little, not much, just a little bit. That's a bit more than a little bit. I guess I'm making a bit, bit of bit more sauce than I wanted. I've got about a tablespoon here and then sriracha. 
gonna squeeze sriracha in about half a tablespoon. We're gonna mix this together and this creates a sweet, spicy sriracha dip that is absolutely out of this world. It is so good. I cannot tell you and it's so easy. So, there's your dip. Easy peasy lemon squeezy Vietnamese summer rolls with hoisin and sriracha sauce. How amazing. I'll give you a close up. So, here we go. Look at how beautiful this is. Vietnamese cuisine is one of my favourites along with Korean. Absolutely out of this world. And these are so tasty, so easy to make, two minutes, it won't take you long, you can fill them with whatever you want. One thing though is you've got to pretty much eat them as soon as possible because you've wet these and uh, they will dry and they'll go hard again. Um, so yeah, make sure you eat them ASAP. You won't be able to resist as well. So yeah, if you like this video, please like and subscribe, hit that notification button and stay safe everyone. Bye.